On the 22nd of January, my birthday. I received a PlayStation VR as a gift. I already owned a PlayStation 4, so it was the cheapest way to experience virtual reality. The PSVR had some great games at the time like Super Hot Tetris Effect Five Nights at Freddy's Windlands And of course Beat Saber. The game that makes people think they are cooler than they really are. Since I am very used to seeing arrows fly at me at rather high speeds, I could instantly start from hard difficulty and climb up to expert. It only took about 5 months to beat the campaign, unlock Expert Plus and beat every song. On March the Monster Cat music pack was released, and that was when I first played Overkill. At the time it was the most difficult thing I had played. The beginning part with the long line of alternating cubes made me so exhausted, which meant I had to increase my stamina. Beating Overkill took me about another month of hard work and practice. At this point. I thought I was very good at Beat Saber. There were no more songs Atlas on PlayStation I could play. But everything changed once this appeared on Twitter. Once I saw the Japanese symbols, I knew this was gonna be on a whole new level. But the skills I had gained from the five months of beating the original soundtrack, beating this pack on Expert wasn't honestly that difficult. But I would soon realize Expert is only the entrance to the ladder I would have to climb to get to the top. The second I selected Expert Plus is when I couldn't hit anything anymore. I was really busy at the time so I didn't have the motivation to beat the pack. And that is where I left it. That is of course until the pandemic hit. Once Corona made everyone stay inside, I had a lot of time on my hands. That is when I remembered my PlayStation VR and how I never beat the pack. On the 1st of March 2020 I promised myself that before the lockdown ended, I would beat Ghost. And this is my story of how I achieved this goal. I attempted every song and failed each time. I went into practice mode to see how much faster I would have to be to beat Ghost and watched as the cubes passed me at speeds too quick for my eyes. I decided that Crystallized is the best place to start since it was the only one I felt I could beat at the time. The song begins with rather standard patterns. Nothing new until the drop. This is where the trouble began. The pattern seemed random at first glance, but you soon realize a few things. The colors are mostly completely separated, which means you don't have to worry about switching arms. The second thing is that a down slash is immediately followed by an up slash. So you have to just keep moving your arms up and down, but at an angle. This of course is very exhausting, and my first attempts had my head shaking so much from lack of stamina. Another problem I faced was the record button. Every time I tried to record my attempts I accidentally pressed the record button, which stopped the recording. This happened almost every time. I had to google how to disable the button, and once I did that I finally beat it. This was a massive accomplishment for me as I finally felt I had a chance at the other songs. This was my first step toward my goal. I believed that after beating the first song my stamina increased enough as to beat this one. However this was not the case. The song opens very energetically, which meant every attempt was very tiring. Unlike last time the colors switch sides meaning that I had to pay attention to the arrows, the colors and very quickly move my arms this rather large distance faster than a second. After getting through this to part I no longer had any idea what was happening. I looked at this pattern in practice mode and noticed you have to slash up and right with both sabers, then after that go back to the left side and slash down. This took many attempts and it is the first time I found myself engulfed in rage. I had never before really gotten angry playing Beat Saber, but playing this over and over until I finally get through this one part was very repetitive. After getting over the opening I finished the whole song. This anger I felt was only a taste of what I would experience later.
The new pattern here is this part with the two cubes at the top, which first require you to switch your hands. Then you switch back go down and slash up and down in an alternating pattern. Then after that you are introduced to a bunch of random garbage, who knows how you are supposed to do this. Basically just assume every down slash is followed by an up slash and focus on the colors. Try to stay within rhythm by remembering at least one cube to be for example an up arrow. The rest of the song isn't anything new, so every time I failed was on this one part. Unfortunately the new and hard pattern in this song is at the very end. Meaning that every time I would fail was right at the end. So every attempt took about 4 minutes. This pattern consists of a line of cubes, which alternate in color and direction. So basically after slashing with your left arm, you switch to your right arm and slash in the direction opposite from the last cube of the same color. So in simple terms. Right arm went down last time, now it goes up. Left arm went down last time, so now it goes up. If it sounds this difficult, then imagine what it's like to play 4 minutes of this song, then fail at this part. It was easier to imagine my arms as separate entities, rather than try to switch colors. Instead of thinking I need to switch arms. I focused on one color and let the other arm do what it feels like. This took a lot of practice, but I somehow got consistent enough to beat the whole song. This is a good time to mention that whenever I hit a cue, the PlayStation Move controllers vibrate. So each time I miss I do not feel a vibration. This song was the most anxiety inducing, since if I didn't feel any vibration going into this pattern, I knew I would fail it. So instead of anger, this time I felt anxiety and stress. Light It Up is undoubtedly my favorite sounding song. The fast paced solo was always fun and cool in my head. This was before I went through the neverending pain of practicing this. I practiced and practiced. Made observations and thought up ideas, but none of them were consistent. I thought that maybe I should slash with my whole arm, maybe keep them in place and try to use my wrists. Neither ideas worked. Then at a point I thought the PlayStation Move tracking just wasn't good enough. It did feel like the tracking was lagging behind. I played it over and over and over and over. I got tired, I felt sweat tickle my nose. I was never fast enough to see the notes. At one point I had a complete mental breakdown. I was angry, stressed and anxious. I felt like this was all for nothing. I was never going to beat this. I will never be good enough. That night I cried myself to sleep all while my wrists and arms felt like bricks. My mental state was that of a psychopath. I wasn't going to give up. I never once thought of giving up. While well, playing one day I looked up at the sky and remembered that there is this great thing called audible.com and with the promo code. I am just joking no that didn't happen. It was my last attempt of the day. I was completely exhausted at that point. Through the endless practice I did start to recognize the pattern. You basically have to make a circle with both of your arms and be aware of this one part where you go left and right with the right arm. I was going to finally use every last drop of energy I had left this time and go beyond my limits.
After mentally exhausting myself day after day I beat it for the first time in practice mode. Knees were weak and palms were sweaty, but victory was achieved, and I knew I was ready. I beat it over and over until I was confident enough to try it in an actual run. Once I beat the whole song the only thing left was the main objective. The thing I was most afraid of. Ghost. This was it. I overcame the previous challenges, albeit they were passed with pain and anger and a lot of psychological damage. On a positive note I felt I was much faster and stronger. I could finally read new patterns and recognize the directions. I was hopeful. I went into practice mode and beat everything on a slower speed and in segments. There were three parts I found a lot of trouble with. This pattern that is in the intro requires you to basically spam your arms. I found that the best way to get through this part was not to use your whole arms, but only your wrists. You need to keep your arms in place between the cubes and slash with a lot of power from your wrists. The cubes aren't evenly spaced nor are they adjacent to each other. The pattern follows this kind of formation. I never got consistent at it, but usually could pass it by just thinking about the rhythm. The second part is this pattern of just a lot of ups and downs. There is nothing difficult about this it is just to make you exhausted. And I also found that because of the PlayStation camera tracking it just randomly doesn't want to sometimes register the hits. So you could be slashing at very high speeds, but still can't hit the cubes. This third part is the most difficult thing I have ever seen. It looks like a normal line pattern, but placed very high. I first tried to get through by just being very fast, but I couldn't reach the speeds required. After thinking for a while I thought of a plan. I developed something I like to call slice the cat. I keep my right arm in place and absolutely destroy my wrist by going completely up and down using only the wrist. The left arm goes in a circle, while the other arm is in place. This is the most consistent way I got through this part. I practiced each of these parts many times. Sometimes throwing my VR set on the ground. Sometimes beating my wall with the controllers. At some point I felt I was ready.
I always imagined victory would feel great. At the moment I beat it. I lost something. I lost something that was motivating me to become faster. I felt like a piece of me was broken. I beat Ghost a month and 25 days after I first made that promise. The journey to get here was full of mental damage and sleep deprivation. I may have gotten physically stronger, but my mental state took a hit. I started hearing the intro in my sleep the following days. Every time someone would say Ghost I would start feeling the same anxiety as I felt back then. Beat Saber wasn't the same fun game it was back then. After a while I went back into the game to see what I could do. I soon realized I could see the colors without sight. I could play with Ghost Mode on, and it felt like nothing had changed. The cubes were a part of me. I have a long history with rhythm games, but this was something different. It wasn't fun. No one should try to do what I did. You will stop enjoying the game for what it is. This is something no one should go through. I hope you learned something from my long journey as I did. The hardest part was not hitting the cubes or becoming faster. The most difficult thing was to believe that I can. That it is not impossible like I had thought. Believe in the impossible and you can do anything.